again and welcome to the celebration of Women's History Month. I am your host today, Nancy Matthews, one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network, and we are bringing you 31 amazing women, visionary women, women who are making her story. And today I get to introduce to you a woman that I knew and first met even before Women's Prosperity Network was an idea, a thought. I, before I even knew this was going to happen, my good friend, Shannon Gronich. Hello, Shannon. Hi, thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. It's, it's like beyond my pleasure because to, to have met you before I started my journey and where you were at, what you had created that caused our connection has really been a big part of my growth and expansion. So I thank you for showing up in my life. Like I would say you're a woman in history who's made an impact on me. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you. It's so, it's so fun. So for, for my viewers who have not yet met this amazing woman, let me tell you a little bit about her background. Shannon Gronich has successfully attained over $3.2 million in free publicity and is notorious for being the owner of the Million Dollar Rolodex and teaching others how to do the same. She has trained and coached thousands of individuals in marketing, event production, business development, and personal growth. She is the creator of a magnetic community, the Business Acceleration Network, of which I'm grateful to be a part of, where she guides businesses to build a successful enterprise while having fun and making lots of money. She brings together social entrepreneurs, visionaries, and new thought leaders that want to collaborate, create a better world, and focus on prosperity so they can pay it forward to make a positive impact. She appeared on television, radio, and in the press, and she has co-authored the book, The, business, the Law of Business Attraction, The Secret of Cooperative Success, which was an Amazon number one bestseller with T. Harv Ecker of The Millionaire Mind. And she's here today. Uh, to tell us a little bit about her story, as well as a woman that's been influential. So actually, I'm going to change it up a little bit for today's interview. Who is that woman in history that had an impact on you or influenced you? Oh, my goodness. Carla Barton. Um, Carla Barton is the pioneering nurse who founded the Red Cross. And one of the things that I love about her is that she didn't have a formal education she followed her heart and she found this need to help people in the civil war and she just took action and it's just amazing to see a woman when in that time a lot of them were in the home taking care of the home and um and yeah she stepped out and did as we know lots of humanitarian work which is still around today yes yes and that's one of the things i really admire about you shannon is your ability and desire to really shine the light on people who are doing humanitarian work and making a difference in the world and you do that yourself in addition to all the great business things you do you show up in so many ways for the betterment of humankind i really admire and honor that in you thank you you're welcome. You're welcome. So, so tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, you know, for me, I went to school. Mom says, get an education, get a good career. I was going to be a lawyer. And then, you know, things went sideways for me. <laughs> and my life is better than I ever expected it to be, right? Yeah. So I actually... Um come from a, a ruptured home with a single mom and, and um, met... A, she married my dad who adopted me and what was really um, remarkable was that they both were not educated so when we talk about Carla Barton like they did not graduate from high school I was the first one to graduate from high school uh, but really moved me to knowing that anything's possible like you don't have like how to be unstoppable in spite of your um, circumstances you know especially around education what a blessing. What a blessing. And I know you work with uh, lots of people with, with the Business Acceleration Network, also the media that you, you show people how to go and get that free press as you have. And, and there's something you're working on these days, which is, you know, from a, a hard space, a higher place. To, so tell us about the Dare to Live Challenge. Well, it's interesting because it actually happened to me. Um, 
in, in like 2009 where I lost everything. And the company that you and I had met at, um, I ended up closing the doors. I had to let go of nine employees. I had 21 in total on my team. Um, kept trying to keep it running and really was living this facade that everything was okay and I wasn't being real with people to tell him telling them about the struggles that I was going through um, while everything was going down downhill my health I mean it was just um, at a place of what some people would consider ground zero and can I pause for a moment here I, I think that there's a huge value for all of us to feel safe enough to embrace and share what's really going on. Um, and, and I thank you for your honesty and vulnerability in sharing about this because my bet is there's a woman or a man watching this video right now who might be at that, that zero place that is afraid to talk about it, doesn't know how to get out of it, um, Oh, God forbid anybody should find out, right? That, that type of thing. So, so you're, you can be free of this. And, and this part of what the message is today is that whatever's happened doesn't really matter. It's what we do now. And know that you are loved and cared for and trusted and there's a community for you to tap into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I remember I kept thinking if people knew, I wouldn't be able to get clients. So it was kind of this double-edged sword of, how could I get clients to make the money if they really knew um, what was going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the whole imposter syndrome, right? Yes, yes, yes. And it's, and it's fascinating because part of the journey, and I'll, I'll get, well, I'll just share this now, is I remember um, going to an event and finally being really vulnerable with somebody who I never really had a heart connection, actually the publisher of the book. And the, the moment I started sharing, she's having tears, she's laughing, and it created such a heart connection that we didn't have for almost two years of working together. It was really beautiful. And after that, I said, let me go tell my closest friend, somebody who I am connected to what's going on. And they were a little angry that I didn't tell them. They were like, why didn't you reach out? And, and so I, I got these different perspectives. But the third person, he goes, you need to go talk to this other person. And I'm like, why do, you know, who is this? Why do we need to talk to him? And he said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I want to hire you. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> why did I just told you all my mess and you want to hire me? <laughs> and he goes, I've, I've known you for years. I've watched you. And, I, and you know, if you're not working on your business, I want you to work on mine. It was, it, I left there with a $15,000 contract, which turned into a $35,000 contract. Um, it was remarkable how when I thought I was completely broken, somebody else saw you know, the possibilities and the gifts in that. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so Lessons for all of us in this. I appreciate it. Yeah. So I learned. So what happened was, is while I was losing everything, um, I decided to do a couple day retreat with just one person. And we did a lot of meditation, a lot of, um, you know, future self work. And in this process, I sat with the question, what if I had a year to live? What would I do? And I really like, I don't, I don't know if people really sit with that in the way that, that I did. And, and it was very revealing to me um, what I wanted to do and what I wanted to stop doing. And so I left there with a major shift going, okay, one of my dreams is to travel across the United States with my kids. And I want to go see, you know, Mount Rushmore and the Grand Canyon and have this incredible journey. And the first step, as you know, Nancy, when you do an event is you put it on the calendar, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to write it and put a date to it. And then I put it down. And as it started getting closer, I still didn't flick that switch on the money. And I remember my son in the back of the car, but I, I was imagining as if it's happening. I'm having the conversation and my son in the car said, he started talking about it. My heart just broke like, oh my God, my son is counting on this. What am I going to do? And so I reached out and this is one of the key principles that you mentioned is, is like 
ask, reach out to people, connect with people in your community. And it was amazing what happened. The ideas, you know, one person said, why don't you go and videotape and do interviews on the way and put it up on the website and people will follow. And I'm like, who's going to want to follow this stuff? <laughs> and then another person said, um, who was actually the reverend at my church said, why don't you put up a PayPal button? I will donate money. And as soon as she said that, it was like, okay, I think I'm supposed to do this. I got goosebumps. <laughs> Wow. And so me and my two young children left in my car with no credit cards, a hundred dollars. And it was a incredible journey where we were interviewing people and asking them, what if you had a year to live, what would you do? And why aren't you doing that now? And, and how are you? Because a big part of what happened for me is I wasn't taking care of my health, my health. And so that really impacted my life. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how do you be healthy now? What are things you can do? Um, and it was the beginning of the Dare, the Dare to Live Challenge. And we ended up going up to Spokane, Washington, all the way back. Um, my son was 11 years old doing videos and editing wow. them and putting them up. And it was remarkable. So give us a little bit more about this Dare to Live Challenge. Uh, I was at an event, for those of you uh, watching, I was at an event that Shannon held recently, and she asked the question, and uh, it was quite revealing. You know, what would I still be doing? What would, you know, and, and quite frankly, this video series was in part born out of that question. Because it, it really was, yes. Because, because nothing gives me more joy than introducing amazing people to each other. To shine the light on women such as yourself that are making herstory, that are showing others how to do the same. Because when we all do this together, that's what makes our world amazing, right? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank you. Oh, that just warms my heart. Yeah, people quit jobs, they left relationships. I mean, it was... <laughs> Um, so the, the, I, I actually came up with five things. The first one was find successful role models. Surround yourself with people that are that that can that can model what you want. I mean, I had role models in parenting and then financing and relationship. It's not just in business. Like find people that are successful in what you want. Mm -hmm. um, the second one was to be open and willing to ask others for help, which we went over. But really um, taking that that moment of knowing that you're not broken. You're on a journey and there are people that would be delighted and thrilled to support you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. The third one is be willing to stretch past your comfort zone, which Nancy, you are so great at. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen me sing yet? <laughs> it's a stretch out of my comfort zone for sure, but I do it because it's important and I love it. Yeah. And this is not something that's taught in school, but it is essential. It is essential to really living a remarkable life. Well, and can I speak to that for a moment? Yeah. What, yeah. When you talked about stretching outside your comfort zone isn't really taught in school, uh, you know, my experience was actually the opposite, that if I tried to do something when I was in school I would, and I didn't do well, I would either get yelled at by my parents or the kids would laugh at me. That was my experience growing up. So I was, I was taught to keep way, only do things that are comfortable, yeah. you know? So we need to let our kids make mistakes and be silly and not get it right. Exactly. So thank you for that. Yeah. Number four is always follow your heart, even if it doesn't make sense. I love that one. I heard a quote. Uh, or saw it on social media that said, most of the time we've been getting it backwards, thinking with our head and feeling with our heart. We should be thinking with our heart and feeling with our mind. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And then be the power and voice for change. I believe that we all have passions. We all have things that we're here to share and just stepping into that. 
Um, and, and whatever may, gets you thrilled or whatever gets you excited, like that journey, I just wanted to be with my kids and see these remarkable places. And so that was like being that voice for my kids and those experiences that they wanted to have. So it could be little things like that or something like you do, Nancy, where you have this international um, women's community that is helping them thrive to a whole new level, but be that voice for change. So good. Thank you for being a voice for change today on this video, in my life, whispering in my ear, all those little nuggets. Um, I appreciate you very, very much. Awesome. Um, so I know you have a gift that you want to share. And there's, so let me just let everybody know, go to Shannon's website. She is always creating great opportunities um, to add value and connect you with other amazing people. Uh, and she's got something specific that she wants to offer for everybody. So tell us about your gift. Yes, which I'm doing just for you, Nancy, but I'm giving away my Media Magic book for free. And in this book, I show you everything I did to get the millions of dollars in free publicity. I give you press release templates, even samples. Um, there's a hundred of the most powerful words in the human language for your power bio, how to contact the media, what to say. Um, so it's a really awesome book that will help you garner publicity and get your story out for free. Yay, wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, just click on the link below and you can get the gift from Shannon. And uh, I also, there's another link there. And I want to invite you to join this movement of women supporting each other, cheering each other on, and claiming and affirming how we're all making herstory together. So click on that link too. Uh, Shannon, thank you. I appreciate you, my friend. I look forward to lots of playtime together in the future. Yes, me too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Be sure to check your inbox for the next in this really powerful series of extraordinary women making history. We'll see you next time. Bye, Shannon. Bye.